Hello, so this topic is on the scope and objective of conditioning. Okay, when we are assigning a conditioning session to our athletes, to our client, we need to uh, identify what are the objectives or what is the main objective and the scope that we need to uh, follow uh, through uh, designing or conducting the training for, for the athletes. Okay, All right, so we should define the training itself. Ladies and gentlemen, training is a systematic process in which athletes improve their fitness to meet the demands of their sport. If the training not following the sequence, uh, the, the, the rules of the training, so it is not systematic. Therefore, the fitness improvement cannot be uh, observed at the end of the, the session or not, not session, at the end of the period, uh, period or months or weeks after you're conducting uh, the, the pre-test. Okay, so we, we as uh, those who are giving the session to athletes, we, we love to see improvement, the progress, uh, so that they improve uh, in the fitness especially. Okay, and we should understand that training is a long-term process and it should be progressive to meet the individual athlete's demand or at the level of fitness and conditioning. Nothing comes in short term. If it is short term, something's not right. Okay, we are not um, uh, menggalakkan things as short term, then you can gain the performance. Eh? No such thing. Uh, I guess it's something that uh, illegal in our field, uh, in our sports science field. Okay, and then uh, training should using both general and event specific to the exercise or to the sports. Okay, uh, if the athletes are long distance runner, so in, in general, all the athletes must have a very strong foundation of uh, stamina okay the cardiovascular should be uh, no problem when we go for the more specific event specific uh, we, we stick to the the long distance runner the athlete should be able know how to 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 uh, prolong their, their performance uh, upper and lower body endurance for example because they need a repetitive uh, arms arm swing repetitive stride uh, for a long duration of, uh, of a time long distance runner can they run up to one or two hours distance is very very long 20 kilometer maybe right so when, when we, we train at least we go starts from general up to the event specific and the event specific uh, we, we sh should understand uh, the, the the need of that sport so training is a cy cyclical process uh, we we illustrate in a cy cyclical because the tear down will happen after the tear down the athlete should recover when they recover they should reach a level when a level that we call super compensation huh? getting stronger huh? incredible huh? and then the build up will happen huh? adaptation and then we tear down again huh? tear down is a good way and not and tearing down uh, injury huh? so we go very specific after this okay all right so this is the super compensation cycle of a training session Let, let's take a look at, at the graph okay when the stimulus being um, given to the athletes we expect fatigue will happen, of course, after one training session. Uh, the fatigue will happen after you giving still similar meaning that you give the training. So fatigue will happen because the loss of energy, the loss of electrolyte, the loss of uh, creatine phosphate in the muscle. <laughs> we go back to physiological class, and then we should expect, as a coach or the uh, sport conditioning specialist, we should expect uh, the athletes. Uh, physiologically will compensate okay throughout the rest and recovery they should recover and then when the compensation happen they replenish back all the energy loss uh, due to the training study too they replenish back the electrolyte they store back the glycogen losses due to the training again they store back the creatine phosphate and then up giving the body time to recover uh, the athlete should reach a condition a situation called super compensation if you look at the, the, the this graph uh, this is the best uh, graph to illustrate the super compensation cycle there there, there is uh, an, a slight improvement from the pre young this line is um, the pre-training fitness huh? then if if the super compensation happen uh, the athletes should reach a new 
a new level where they are improved in fitness. Nampak tak di sini? A slight improvement is expected. Okay. When we train our athletes, when we train our our players, uh, we expect super compensation should happen uh, after the training. It maybe it took like one or two days. Depends on the the... The volume of the training depends on the training athlete status, depends on the what type of training they are given, and depends on the what season are they. Okay, alright. If if the next training session, after you giving first training session, super compensation happens. Ah, huh? the athlete is getting stronger. Ah, huh? after recovery is stronger, they perform, they gain the benefits for it. They adapt. First training session and second training session, the gap should be not too long. If it's too long gap between two stimuli, uh, two stimulus, training satu hari Senin, the next training Jumaat. What do you think? Is that a sufficient ataupun terlebih recover? When there are extra, <laughs> too much of recovery, then the body will be losing some fitness. That what what we call involution. As a trainer, we should understand involution will happen if it is too long gap between training one and training two. Hmm. I'm not saying the 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 days ataupun berapa jam selepas itu because uh, individually recovery ataupun individually gaining the super compensation is different based on the training status and eh, the age factor. Are they in the the the, the uh, after recovery? I mean that selepas injury. Pasal injury atau tiada pernah injury In what season they are we, Banyak consideration But if it is too long Involution will happen That's the thing that we should prevent Because we don't want the training one That we give We give yeah, Is to be sia-sia ah, That's what we call Okay, this is uh, the explanation That you can read on your own Right? So, super composition is what we expect Okay, as trainer Because we want the athletes to build We want the athletes to adapt mm. Right. So, what if overtraining? This uh, graph with illustrating uh, the overtraining. Overtraining will happen if let's take a look at this color graph. Ni, the 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 stimulus uh, being given. Okay, the blue color fatigue. Yes, of course. After training session, the body tries to recover at the red one. But insufficient days, insufficient time, or insufficient um, space. Uh, for recovery to the muscle or to the physiological of the athletes, uh, causing the athlete will will be overtrained. Mm, tak sempat nak nak recover. We give another training. See, another training will be given. Tak habis uh, recover, and then they will get fatigue again. Then they recover again. They try to recover. The physiological is try to uh, to 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 feel back what's their loss, and then the the next training session tak cukup lagi recovery. So what happened? Uh, this this graph you tengok ah when you look you look at this graph the fitness uh, daripada pre pre step to this uh, straight line is uh, fitness uh, secara best in the best fitness they're getting uh, worsen and worsen and then that's uh, that's what we 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 are discussing on uh, overtrain injury might happen you know the syndrome of insomnia might happen and then the athletes will uh, uh, experience many more types of injury instead of uh, muscle injury they were something like migraine maybe and then uh, eating disorder right the the uh, uh, chaotic of hormone here and there <laughs> we talk about hormone banyak lagi eh? so overtraining should be uh, uh, prevented at all costs to the trainer so trainer should understand you should understand this uh, the 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 need to 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 give the sufficient recovery and the best time to give the next session. If it is too long gap, terlampau lama recovery atau lima lama rest, uh, passive rest lagi tu, then it will cause involution, the drop of performance. Kan? Tapi kalau terlampau pendek masanya to give the recovery, tak cukup lagi, they also cause overtraining. Uh, they feel very exhausted. Fatigue. Huh? Fatigue yang exhausted sampai susah nak, nak, nak kembali lah pada uh, fitness sebenar. Okay, what should we expect as a trainer? So in this first uh, first graph, this graph, the stimulus, then fatigue, recovery, up to the red one. Okay, this com super composition happened. The body is getting stronger, fitter, 
uh, the next session should be given uh, this is where the next session is given yes. okay what if it is too easy what if it's too hard too hard of course something bad will happen <laughs> if it is too easy yeah something will happen too okay if the training is too easy in this uh, uh, situation uh, okay let's take a look as too easy the story our too easy story uh, the dot dot and the, the bigger dots here okay if it is too easy uh, it is um, described as the training that you give to athletes is very easy instead of uh, one whole session of uh, full range of uh, sorry uh, one whole session of uh, high volume uh, heavy weight uh, upper and lower body you are giving only maybe upper body when it is too easy like one set of uh, few reps and then if you leave you leave the athletes uh, leave the athletes with very simple exercise maybe it's body weight for those who are uh, elite athletes when it is too easy yes fatigue will still happen recovery will still happen uh, recovery means that going up uh, towards the super compensation however the super compensation obtained uh, very uh, very minimal compared to the the just nice um, uh, stimulus given the b thing uh, the, the the line here uh, on the line B is the thing that our our intention as a trainer to give uh, sufficient training intensity. If it is too light, it's too easy, not not, not much uh, improvement or not much adaptation built up uh, being given or to being gained by the athletes. Uh, we don't want that to happen because we don't want to waste our time giving a very uh, easy task then they cannot uh, improve further as they should be. Okay, All right. Let's uh, talk about uh, too hard. Uh -huh. Lampo susah, huh? Too hard. The smaller dot here, dot 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 dot. Okay. The stimulus given. Okay. Too hard, huh? You you sensara kan, huh? uh, Your athletes. Yeah, they will get fatigue, of course. By recovery, by eating a sufficient a diet, they 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 sleep well, they rest well, they they do some stretching, they recover. Com Compensation will, will be happening to the physiological of the athletes. However, when they reach, when they reach uh, after the super compensation, after the compensation, super compensation not really being achieved because because when it is too hard, the body is recovering back sahaja. Not much of ten of the fitness improvement. This is happens. Uh, for example, I have my two hard story. <laughs> I always tell my student, but yeah, in this video I cannot tell it anymore. Sikit-sikit lah, okay. The two hard story. Uh, it, it happens to me when uh, I I I'm joining one training. It's one session of uh, hectic ataupun uh, vigorous um, intensity of. Let's give example uh, Decline, okay. Decline sit up. Can you imagine? Decline sit up in 30 reps in endurance and in fast tempo. Okay? Uh -huh, itu cerita dia. Cuba bayangkan. Tahu decline sit up. When I perform it, I didn't do any warming up, proper warm up, warm up, especially to the core. Tidak ada langsung. And all of a sudden, I need to do, I need, I, I been required to perform 30 reps of fast tempo decline sit up in the machine in a, yeah, a simple machine but in declining so what happened the next day not the next day exact the same day it is too hard for me i recover like one week for my core i cannot do any other core exercises uh, throughout the week seven days i recover i cannot laugh i cannot sneeze i cannot cough that's the point where my physiological the my muscle is need extra days to recover that's the too hard story i cannot gain any super conversation so that what a waste of that one training session is killing killing my 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 core ex, core region uh, <laughs> the sit ups okay so at least yes we want our uh, uh as trainer we want our athletes to achieve at their best but if you are not understanding the too hard who are your athletes pernah kada exercise before do they familiar with that? Can they lift the weight that you give? If it is too easy, nothing will, very minimal uh, performance obtained. If it is too hard, they need extra time to recover. And if it is too hard again, it can cause uh, uh, overtrain or injury.
Okay, so as a trainer, we need to to ensure that we reach the B, the line B, uh, the on time, the just nice intensity, just nice time for the athletes. So understanding this one, uh, in in return we are expecting this kind of fitness improvement by time, giving the the stimulus stimulus over and over again, L1 stimulus one, training two, training three, training four, up to the overtime. We expect to see improvement in fitness uh, by right lah. Uh, uh, regardless of other external factors that we cannot control. But if the external factors that we 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 cannot control the the worst part injury of the athletes, sometimes they need extra because uh, the the sports season you know they need rehabilitation so that fitness uh, being um, disturbed sekali sekala. So this is uh, the the secara kasar fitness uh, expectation of a trainer. Okay, right. So ladies and gentlemen, there are some principles of training that uh, we we must understand every principle. Actually, it's more than this, not not even 10. Uh, don't fix it. Understand the principle of fitness by by highlighting. Okay. If I read it, I'm sure you guys are very familiar. You can explain in your own term. That's the meaning of that principle training. You give example, uh, readiness. If your athlete is not ready to perform, conditioning yet you shouldn't give them that training uh, if you are training in the lower sorry if you're training the under age okay focusing much on the conditioning maybe it will uh, influence the, the, the muscular growth ataupun uh, bone growth so if that is not ready don't give ready is after it's well trained you know off season maybe after the after the injury rehabilitation during injury tak ready cannot give uh, as a sports conditioning and the second one individual response every individual response differently you should understand that uh, kalau cakap male female no uh, age factor training status types of sports how the response different it is beginner ataupun dah lama elites pernah injured tak pernah injured so how the response is different so you should understand this man. and many 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 more okay so yeah be familiar with principal training know how to achieve the super compensation uh, just nice uh, recipe they just nice super compensation and then you can achieve uh, you can let your athletes to achieve to gain uh, adaptation ataupun improvement due to that training that you give right thank you